Hi again. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Vanessa and um, so next, well, I'm videotaping this today. It's the um, 7th of, of March. So basically next week is um, St. Patrick's Day. So I always make goodies for my kids. Um, daycare. Why? Well, I used to be a teacher, so I know that kids get excited uh, for little treats, and um, I just feel that um, it's just fun, and I feel that some kids sometimes need that. Um, I'm, I don't usually get anything back for my kid. No, no one, none of the other parents do it, and that's not important to me. It's really. Um, the fact that that day or that night um, the kids in his group just get something, anything and um, and also it makes me uh, do some crafting so I guess it's a win-win situation and um, so I made St. Patrick's Day goodie bags so I'll show you some um, they were really easy to make and I didn't really put too much stuff in it just like little a little thing a little something for them to bring home and to be excited about um, I think that that's the most important part so here's an example and there's not many kids in his group so it doesn't take me that long um, we'll see when he's actually in school if I'm gonna feel like making for like 32 kids or how many kids there are in the class but for now I feel like it's a small group and um, I do have lots of craft supplies and as I said I used to be a teacher so I have pencils and stuff so might as well use my stash and I think that that's one of my number one reasons is using my stash. So um, how did I make them? I used um, these little baggies, um, the cello bags and I used um, these are um, oh my goodness my brain is not working just a second oh, yes, project life cards and I had bought the um, what is this set called I will show you the set and I think I just moved the camera So it's been a while I have this. It's a uh, Project Life um, um, Becky Hig Higgins um, set and it's the um, Seasons edition. So basically it has um, the seasons. It has all the like spring, has sprung, hello summer, Easter, Mother's Day, Kiss Me I'm Irish, fall. So it has all the um, seasons and um, holidays I guess. And Oh, like there's even a birthday so I loved this pack and I think I used a coupon when I bought it um, I believe they're like $40 for a big pack like this but um, I don't remember paying that much because I'm uh, I'm really a low a low budget crafter <laughs> if that's what you want to call me so I usually don't buy things full price and when I know that I need to I usually save up for it so let's say like the Cricut Joy, I knew it was coming out, so I I saved for it. And um, uh, but yeah, this was on. I didn't buy it full price. So I took those Project Life cards from there, and I took the uh, the kind of St. Patrick's Day looking ones, and basically I folded them in two and that's going to be my topper and I just wrote in the pen Happy St. Patrick's Day from Raphael which is my son's name and I just stuck a little sticker here that has a um, a cupcake and a little uh, four leaf clover uh, or three leaf clover that I thought was you know appropriate and cute so you'll need that you'll need whatever goodies you want to put in I had um, pencils like I said I used to be a teacher and I had these left over um, and they were in my stash I bought some lollipops um, most of them have these green ones they were part of a pack um, like an assorted candy pack and then I didn't have enough so some of the kids are getting these ones that are tiger pops which were in another assorted candy bag but 
Um, I thought it was appropriate because it had some green in it. And I had some of these four leaf clover stickers, uh, kind of like foam stickers, that to be honest I just wanted to kind of get rid of because I don't really use these that much. And I didn't have that many, I just had a few. It's They're actually from the time that I made goodie bags for my class, which I'm telling you was years ago. Um, they were left over from that stash, so I'm using them for my son's class. And then I had some um, like green um, leprechaun coins, like good luck coins, and I didn't have enough, so I didn't want to use them in some bags and some bags not have them. So what I did is I made my own, and I had some of these um, St. Patrick's Day stickers. So what I did is I just cut out with my paper cutter. At the time, I, I still didn't have my Cricut, so I didn't use, uh, I couldn't use it, but I have one of these circle punches. So I punched out some circles out of um, shiny or sparkly pa green paper. And I had these stickers, which um, some of my Happy Mail came in, and I uh, just used them. And um, also I put in the back another sticker and on most of them I did write I did write good luck coin um, I guess I forgot on this one let me see if any are turned over but, no none of them are turned over but yeah I, you can write something like good luck coin or whatnot on this but yeah I just made little cute little coins and it doesn't really matter what they do with them they can throw them away or whatnot but my son likes little little trinkets so I just thought about him and I, I made these little extra coins so that's one thing so that you can make and then I added um, I had some stickers again from my stash that were with little leprechauns this one has a leprechaun sleeping and he's dreaming of um, four leaf clovers or clovers so that was one thing and then what I did is I cut out a green piece of paper it's just construction paper that I got from the dollar store and they fit I cut them a little bit smaller than the bags so the bags are 4 by 6.75 inches so I just cut them a bit smaller um, just so that they fit inside and so I put them inside here just as a background because I felt that the the plastic um, was taken away from the, the cuteness of all the stuff like it was too see-through so I, I cut this paper to fit inside here and I stuck this little guy this little leprechaun they all have pretty much the same guy he's either smiling with his eyes closed it has a four-leaf clover or this guy is holding a um, a pot of gold and um, I put them there uh, because I felt that this area was very empty and so then I just filled them up and you can put them any way you like it doesn't really matter um, I know that my sorry the noise I know that the um, the lady that I uh, the lady who takes care of my son. Um, it's only it's a home daycare and there's only nine kids in there. Um, she doesn't give it to them during the day. She she puts it in their cubbies, and then when the parents get there, they um, the parents just take it home, and uh, I do what they need to do with it. So I'm happy about that because I don't like um, parents not knowing that I gave them something, and not because I want any kind of um, um, you know like praise for it it's more because I want them to know what's in it and like if they don't want their children to have the candy um, well then it's up to them not to give it to them and um, if they if there's anything that's choking hazard that they feel they don't want the child to have well I'd rather the parents have this before anybody giving it to them so I'm happy that the daycare teacher does that so um, that's number one so I put everything inside And I don't do the same bag for every, um, sorry about the noise, I'm just shaking it so that the, they go down. 
Um, so I don't do the same kind of goodie bag each time. It's always different. Um, and that's for my own. So it's for myself because, like I said, I like to use my stash. And I like to use different, do different things. So I, I do it for myself. And I guess the kids get a bonus out of it. So I get to craft. I get to use my stash. And I create new things. And um, and and the kids and I I assuming they enjoy it because why wouldn't they right? So and then I just take a stapler. Sorry, um, second video, not really that prepared. I got my stapler. And of course. Okay, sorry about that. This stapler as well. Got it at Dollarama a couple of years ago. So I just try to push it as much as I can to the edge. Put a staple in it. And there you go. You got like a little tree bag. And um, in my very first video, this is my second one in the first video. Um, I had told you that I bought these bags at Dollar Max. They're about, I believe, a dollar twenty-five, and uh, that's kind of how I use them. And um, you can also, if you have, um, what are those called? The bag tires, like those uh, metallic, or they have like a little metal that you can wrap them in that or whatnot. Um, again, I use staples because I know that the kids are not opening them. It's they're going home to the parents. Um, I guess it depends on your liking. If you feel that staples are not good for kids, I understand, but I don't. I don't fear that the kids are will be opening this. I know that the parents are taking them home and deciding what to do with it. So that's what I feel. Well, so that's my little. Um, sorry, St. Patrick's Day video that I'm showing you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, you come back and subscribe. I hope that you check out my other videos. I'm a new uh, vlogger, so um, it's, a, it's a process, right? Thanks again, and I wish you a great day.